But one day as I was getting dressed after the pool, I saw two or three black girls teasing a little white girl who was being very stupid. She was crying. They were pulling the towel away from her and she was crying. So I went over there and I held the towel for her and I said to the girl, to the black girls, please don't bother her, she's too young. And they left and I got dressed and got ready to leave and one of the girls stopped me and said, you know those colored girls, that's the word they used at the time, those colored girls outside are gonna beat you up for bothering them when what they were doing, you better get the police to walk you home. And I just didn't believe that. I, I thought, no, if I walk out with a smile on my face, I'm sure they're not gonna beat me up. And I walked out with a smile on my face. I remember walking down this, the entrance to the pool and I saw them sitting out there waiting for me. And I approached them with a smile and I said, wasn't that little girl silly? Like, we all got the same thing, so why did we see each other? And that they answered with a pleasant smile and we talked about the little girl for a while and then one of them said to me, what kind of an accent is that? And I said, it's probably German. I was born in Germany. This is my first year in America. And she said, oh, I heard something. What, what, what happened in Germany? And I said, they don't like Jews and they threw stones at us and called us names. And we couldn't go to their schools. And the, one of the girls said, oh, that's just like us here in America. They don't like blacks and they throw stones at us and, and they hang us on trees. And that was the first time that I became aware of what the situation was with black and white in America.